With unmatched ferocity, Hitler's war machine has launched its blitzkrieg against Western Europe, pushing it to the brink. As we brace for our darkest hour, we must summon our strength to be the bulwark against oppression. The Nazi onslaught will be the greatest test we'll ever face. But with our allies, face it and defeat it, we must. This day is set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle to preserve our civilization and to set free a suffering humanity. Our sons, pride of our nation, lead them straight and cruel. Their road will be long and hard. Men's souls will be shaken with the violences of war in this hour of great sacrifice. We shall prevail. Paul. It's June 6, 1944. Wish you could see this, brother. We're invading some frog beach I'm not supposed to even know the name of. Also, we can take back France from the Nazis. But the waiting's been half the battle. June 6, 1944. D-Day. We're invading Normandy. About to take France back from the Nazis. Today, with our allies, we embark on an operation of unparalleled importance to establish a beachhead at Normandy and roll back the German aggression that has terrorized Europe for the past five years. We are all that separates the world from darkness. This, so much more than a chance to be heroes in our own lifetimes. If we prevail, our triumph will be etched into the hearts and minds of a grateful world for untold generations. I'm talking about glory, gentlemen. True glory. Colonel Davis sure can give a nice speech. His pep talk reminded me of the one Coach Johnson gave us on our Thanksgiving Day game versus Austin. I'm sure you remember we lost that game by 42 points. Always looking over Pearson's shoulders, Lieutenant Turner. He's got him on a tight leash. But if Pearson breaks free, we'll all get bit. Ever since I could hold a rifle, I wanted to be like you, Paul. You've always been a tough act to follow. But I'm damn sure gonna try. since D-Day. To break out of Normandy, we're pushing inland to secure Marigny. That's how we'll control the roadways and plow across France to Paris. Liberation's coming soon. Me and the fellas, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Not good enough for Pearson, but nothing is. Maybe I'll get home by Christmas with a couple medals on my chest. But first, we gotta take Marigny. Schmeling versus Lamada. Schmeling would have KO'd Lamada. No way. And Schmeling's a Nazi. I'd shoot him in a heartbeat. 
Now, they made him their poster boy. I didn't have a choice. We all got a choice. Hmm? You know, Nietzsche said there was only oh, strong... That's enough mouth. All right. Uh, what about Lewis versus Sugar Ray Robinson? If we're talking 1938, Lewis Robinson wins hands down. Hey! Oh, look who came back for more. I thought you were out another week. Not after I heard a bunch of tough SOBs were about to take Marinier. Yeah, well, playbook's working. At this rate, we'll be home by Christmas. Don't we'll just stand there. Let's see. All right. Not bad, eh? Oh. I've seen worse. Glad to have you back, Private. Good to be back, sir. All right, fellas. We got a unique opportunity here. This is our chance to break out of Normandy. It won't be easy. The hedgerows are heavily defended. We got reports of crowd armor in the area. But if we can hold and secure Marinier, we own the roadways. And if Zussman can take a knife in the gut and come out swinging, I like our odds just fine. I always bet on a winner, sir. For Turner, shielding us is his noble calling. Let's move. The war just has a habit of getting in the way. July 26, we're holed up in a farmhouse outside of Marinier. I close my eyes thinking of Hazel, but end up having the dream again. Red, take the shot! <sighs> Same dream, huh? <sighs> Pretty much. Can't seem to shake it. now you get some rest no i have to show pearson i'm ready i don't care what he says you ain't got nothing to prove yeah well i'm tired of taking his shit back home you want to settle something you do it head on it's the only way to earn respect i understand that believe me a man has to fight his own battles but respect don't mean a lot if you get yourself killed just glad you got my back <clears throat> besides Good old St. Michael's watching over us. So we got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Didn't realize you guys believed in that stuff. I'll take all the help I can get. So are you gonna tell me about that dream, or what? Wolves had been killing our cattle. Me and my older brother Paul were hunting them when we got cornered. Red! <laughs> Red, take the shot! I'm trying, I'm trying! <laughs> You all right? Uh, I'm sorry, Paul. Listen good, kid. It's only natural to be scared. We need to head home, baby brother. Uh. From that day on, I swore I'd never let Paul down again. But now it's not just him I gotta live up to. It's Pearson. For a month, we've been tightening the noose around the last escaping crowds as we rolled towards Paris. But like a cornered rattler, you can bet they got one last strike. You gotta be ready for anything. Like teaming up with the SOE, British Special Forces. Something big's happening. You gotta be. Davis is here. We received intelligence from the resistance about a German train carrying V-2 rockets for an attack on Paris, refueling near Argenton. That gives us just enough time to move our team into position. It must be stopped. You proved yourselves in Marinier, which is why you'll get the opportunity and the privilege. Thank you, sir, but it seems like a job for more than one platoon. That's why I'm teaming you up with the SOE. <laughs> like you two caught a bit of it. Don't worry, Lieutenant. We saved some for you. Agents Vivian and Crowley will lead the operation. They've been working with the Resistance for months and know the terrain well. We'll defer to them. We heard about Marigny. Impressive. I can't take all the credit. Just doing our job. And a fine job it was, but a warm-up, I'm afraid. Look, this is no ordinary German supply train. It's a fortress on wheels. A liaison in the Resistance, Rousseau, will provide support if possible, but attacks on their network could mean we're on our own. The fate of Paris is in your hands. August 1944. This is it. We're gonna liberate Paris. The French 2nd Armored Division and the U.S. 4th Infantry arrive at dawn. 
That means we move tonight. It's been a week since we took out that train. Our platoon's in the middle of Paris, working with the resistance. Rousseau and Crowley have a plan to sabotage the occupation. And that means striking at its heart. Using the documents we obtained from the train, Rousseau and I will pose as Nazi officers to infiltrate the garrison. This way, gentlemen. The garrison is run by SS and Polizei Führer Heinrich. And he couldn't find me. It came from my parents. And my husband. And finally, my son. Tonight, everything we've lost, everything we fought for, will mean something. Tonight, we take back our city. The garrison. Our contact there will supply us with explosives. And when we blow the gates, that'll be your signal to approach. We're counting on you. All right, boys. Let's get ready. These crowds ain't gonna give up easy. <laughs> I figure we can survive Pearson. We can survive anything. I fought alongside him with Kasserine. We should all be so brave. It won't be long now, mes amis. But first, we enter the wolves' den. See you there. October. We're in Aachen. Krauts are fighting like hell for it because it's the first time one of their cities has been invaded by the Allies. It won't be the last. We thought with the liberation of Paris we'd be one step closer to home. But our troubles are just beginning. We're fighting in the city now, Aachen. Krauts got a death grip on it for good reason. We're drilling a hole clear through their western border. Davis has us going block by block, house by house. Knock them all down, he calls it. Turner and Pearson, I ain't seen eye to eye since we got here. The grind's taking a toll on us all. Time for more beans and bullets. If I tell you to do it, it is the goddamn mission! Hey, pick up the pace! We gotta hit CP by nightfall. Hey, on this line around. From your girl. Thought I told you not to go through my things. What kind of chump doesn't open a sugar report? Uh, the kind who thinks it's a dear John. See the address? She wrote Daniels, not Red. Only one reason to be so formal. Hate to say it, I think she's cutting you loose. Or hey, maybe it's like Schrodinger's letter. You know, you don't open it, she's still your girl. Maybe he's like showing us left. What's what? wrong with you? Quit screwing around! We hit the State Theater at 0730 tomorrow. Everybody's got their limits. Everybody. True or not, Hazel, I gotta believe you still love me if I'm gonna stay strong. After Ock and nothing's gonna be the same. But we finally got a foothold into Germany. The gateway to the Rhine is open and there's no turning back for any of us. Your orders were to take the hotel, not evacuate civilians. Who decided this was a rescue op? We thought there was time, sir. Last time I checked, Turner was in charge, not you. Is he making the calls now? No, sir. It was my call. It's on me. It's on both of us. Yeah, well, right now, the last thing I should be worried about is if two of my best men can follow orders when we're on the verge of the biggest operation of the entire war. Let me remind you, this is the spearhead of our final drive to the Rhine. Got a whole damn forest to clear so the convoy can get through. So from this point on, I'll accept nothing less than your best. Now get your insubordinate asses ready to move out. It's been three weeks. We're in the Hurricane Forest now, clearing it so the convoy can get to the Rhine. I'm not proud to admit it's taken me this long to open your letter. If it's over, we're here for you, pal. I tried to warn you. Coach, let the man speak. She's pregnant. Whoa! <laughs> hey! 
That's huge. All right. Daniels is gonna be a daddy. Yeah. She was trying to let me know, but I wasn't ready to hear it. All right. I could use another cup of Joe. Come on, you mooks, let's give him some space. But I don't want coffee. Sure you do. I'm sorry I waited to tell you about the baby. I tried to the day you were shipping out. The day you took my picture. Still waiting on Pearson. There's no telling what he'll do, but his record ain't exactly stellar. If you were here, Paul, I know you'd set him straight. Just hope Zussman and Aiello can hold out till we hit those guns together. Can you read me? Over. If you don't mind me saying, sir, maybe we should head to the assembly point. Not yet. Pearson will get here. Sir. Is it true about Pearson getting those men killed at the Kazarine Pass? One day, Daniels, when you're leading your own platoon, you find out there's usually two options. Bad and worse. But you focus on your men, because that's what'll get you through. Tell that to Pearson. Sergeant Pearson. You just pray you're never in that position. Lieutenant! Just got a transmission from Baker. They're gonna assault Hill 493. Pearson's with him. What? He took our guys and second platoon. Gear up! Let's move! <laughs> Sacrifice too great. Go. Fall back! Sergeant! Move! Move! Fall back! Get Move! 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 Go! Go! Six weeks now since Turner was killed and I got promoted. It's Christmas. We're digging into the Ordains forest in Belgium. So cold, we're pissing ice cubes. Gonna be one hell of a fight. With Turner gone, we lost our protector. Paul, all I wanted was to come home a hero. Now that Pearson's in charge, I may not come home at all. Merry Christmas, Turner. Owen Turner. Pearson made farm boy over here a corporal. I wonder what you think of that. Probably that you're the same old sack of shit, Aiello. This ain't the time. It's a Turner. 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 Turner! You lucky son of a bitch. You're always first. Right. Keep eyeballing me. Yeah, I get your jollies tonight, boys, because tomorrow when that convoy comes through, you're gonna be on the front line defending it. And Turner's not gonna be there. Easy! Easy. You're corporal now, huh? You know, see how fucking easy it is. Go. Give me an excuse. Yeah, that's what I thought. Six years I served with them. Six. Merry fucking Christmas.
convoys coming through, and it's up to us to make sure it gets to the Rhine. Now all we got to do is survive the cold and Pearson. Pearson's gone to a dark place. I can feel myself getting dragged down with him. But I got to stay sharp if I'm going to make you proud, brother. Wasser, bitte. What's he want? Wasser, bitte. Here. God damn it, what are you doing with us? Lay off, Sergeant. What's that? Huh? How's that, huh? How's that work for you? Much better. You son of a bitch. Hey, Sergeant. Hey, you stay out of this. Oh. Hey, stop! He's not worth it. Daniels! Don't crowd. Why'd you run? You must be hiding something. Son of a bitch was holding out on us. Give me that. The fuck's this say? These are orders to plant explosives on the bridge in Remagen. Ordnance is gonna be loaded onto trucks five miles north of here. If I'm reading this right, it's the last bridge standing across the Rhine. Well, ain't that something, Fritz? I've been on the search for work. I'll inspect them separately. Die und separat. Lose the tags. Lose them. They're after Jews. Where sind die Juden? Die Juden. Wer sind die Juden? Frag mich doch, du Nazi, du Scheiße. Du sprichst Deutsch. Ausgezeichnet. Welche sind die Juden? Fick dich. Zeig sie mir. We're Americans. Period. <lacht> Wohin bringt ihr uns? Ihr seid zum Arbeiten hergekommen und das werdet ihr auch tun! Welcome home, Red. From this moment on, I am not letting you out of my sight. You understand me, Corporal? Yes, ma'am. You all right there, Red? We gonna talk or we gonna hunt? You should be proud. You ruled your fear, you held your own. Nothing more you can ask of a man. It's the best feeling in the world, ain't it? Facing down hell and coming home a bona fide hero. Red? Bonafide hero. Red! Red! Do 
Take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I done, all I wish I done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Ball! March 1945. With the 9th Armored and the 99th, our mission is to take the bridge of Remagen. We get across, the last German resistance will crumble. If Zussman's alive, he's across that bridge. We just gotta take it first. All right, there she is, the last bridge over the Rhine. If we get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We'll bust them open. But look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Oh. Okay! Oh. Oh. looked out for me, Paul, and I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march, and that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Zussman wanted you to have it. Yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> Oh, you're gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Sergeant. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re-up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> Crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive with you you could have gone home a hero why'd you come back i saw that life just couldn't live it to the end
The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me.